Hello beautiful Virgo, this is Steph Newt Light with your love forecast for the weekend of July 17th, 2015. I hope this finds you well and inspired and enlightened and feeling the love energy. There's a beautiful love code going on. I have Saturday going on right now here in Ubud Bali, but it's Friday for you guys and I'm on the other side of the world. And there's a code that's happening, it's all about... Um, ultimate compassionate love it's like a really good day to connect with your beloved reconnect with your beloved or just really spend time with family it's this activation code it's a numerology six and nine and six is all about sharing love and unconditional love and so is nine and humanitarian so a good activation code to have for this energy and so let's get on to your love reading and i'll be using the beautiful um Guardian Angels Tarot by Doreen Virtue. If you tuned in the other day, thank you for being a part of the live um, chat we had. It was really fun to do that reading on the new moon and cancer. And I will be having an intuitive tarot course starting on Sunday the 19th. Go check that out. There's a link page for the event page below. And it's $60 to join. It's a four-week course and is a one-hour session we meet up we have a live chat and we talk and i teach you about the tarot tapping into your intuition and it's really really powerful and it's going to be beautiful there's only eight spaces that uh, are left so do go check it out and i will see you there and if you'd like to sign up for a personal reading my website is also below and do check out my like page for updates and new videos coming your way so there'll be more of me very very soon as i'm starting a whole new chapter here and it's just absolutely beautiful so welcome to the enchanted castle all right let's get started i'm going to focus on love vibration for friday for beautiful beautiful virgo you're going to be having some interesting energies coming your way soon with jupiter entering your sign very soon in a few weeks time so good energies now we're all feeling that so ride that wave of abundant flowing beautiful harmonious love energies all right I'm shining my heart to yours and this is the card that wants to come up so beautiful so i feel like there might have been something that felt a little stuck for you before but there's a new path so to say this opening or something is reopening for you really beautiful this is the six of thought so there's a new so to say freshness coming your way of thoughts of emotions especially because there's water here so there's this opening maybe you had a falling out with someone this week or some energy was just not quite right for you and you're feeling like okay so with this new moon in cancer we have this beautiful view excuse me here of the seashell and there's this view of this ocean and there's flowers so there's nurturing energy there's groundedness too in the emotions and the stability so that's really nice for you and it says a peaceful time Peaceful times are on the horizon. That's really nice. The storms have passed and now you can see the destination within sight. The stress in your life will begin to fade away. Allow for happier times. It may also be necessary to take a journey over water or to another country. So I feel like maybe you had some stress with work or your beloved had some stress with work and there was you know, energy, we absorb energy and then we pass it on. So we need to make sure our energy is always cleared and cleansed and a space where we want to feel love and allow love in. And if you have um, any blockages that might come up, I suggest doing a chakra clearing healing video. It is on YouTube. Watch it. Sometimes they're three hours long and some are just a guided chakra meditation. There's a bunch of different ones. I might make a video on which ones I recommend, but that will be in the near future. So go check that out if you need some clearing, some healing. And I also recommend ASMR. That is something I do as well. Anyway, so there's good energy on its way. So just allow yourself to receive, be around water, take a bath, drink lots of water, and really enjoy the weekend. Like I feel like there's this beautiful energy unfolding, a lot of love, a lot of harmony. And the, the picture is looking a lot brighter than it was maybe before the new moon or even midweek, which was on the new moon. Because shifting energy is always interesting. We always feel like, oh my goodness, it's gonna change everything. But actually it's just a redirection for everyone to be involved in more harmonious energy. So trust that energy. I'm gonna pull a card for Saturday for you and I know the light keeps doing that there's a shadow oh well so Saturday for beautiful Virgo for your love life 
And let's see what's in store for you, Virgo. So refresh and renew, that's what I'm feeling the keywords are for you. And I feel it's this card. Okay, so the seven of abundance. So you're working on this kind of project with your partner, it feels like it. So you're growing something, you could be growing a family, growing a business, cultivating something together, growing in a new way you haven't grown before. But I feel this energy is giving you that refresh, renew, restart again for each other. Or if you haven't met someone, there's someone coming your way, or you could be working on a project where you could meet someone. That's what I'm feeling. So have patience. Sometimes dreams grow slowly. Don't worry, the hard work you've invested will bring you about a bountiful harvest. So this is the finances and the love department because they're both connected to the same vibration. I know some people have a hard time thinking about that, like how do you, but it is, it's the same frequency. When you feel love and you feel grateful and gratitude and love, abundance flows and love flows at the same time. It is the same vibration. We need to stop getting stuck in those paradigms where we say it's up, it's completely opposite. We both need the nurturing support to build upon our relationships and build our foundation in life to feel successful and abundant and supported and supported in our relationships. We need both. Abundance is love and, ab and love is abundance. So it's the same frequency. So do check in with that for yourself. So so the hard work you've invested in will bring you a bountiful harvest. Really, really nice. It is a good time to prepare because things will soon move forward quickly. Use this time to rest and plan. So you're resting up because I feel about next week or even beginning of, I'm feeling like end, end of July to beginning of August, there's going to be a lot of shifting for you, especially with the energy going towards closer and closer to Jupiter in your sign. So really take the, the time to restock, uh, refresh, harvest, because when Jupiter goes in your sign, you're going to be really busy. It's very expansive. When the expansion, there comes newness and there comes some beautiful blessings and also shifting things that will bring you amazing lessons that will help you grow even further. Those, this big growth period that is about to happen for you. So I feel you're going to be growing in the love department and in the financial sector. You could be teaming up with your partner to do... Um, a project of something it's an earth card so this is really good as you're an earth sign and I'm also feeling it's about starting to grow a garden so grow a garden either in a meditation or even in a physical place if you just have a balcony start planting some seeds together with your partner putting intentions in of what your dreams will be and what you want them to become so and I'm going to pull you a card and it could be like spending more time in nature with your beloved, getting into some crafty project, something earthy, something you enjoy, really getting your feet in the soil together because that will strengthen your relationship. And I'm speaking on a physical level. So get out in nature, get refreshed and rejuvenated together and really eat healthy food too. You could start to plant your own food in the near future and also make food together and that brings people even closer men love to be fed so and so do women so it's for both men and women so let's see for sunday for this beautiful energy and there's my little kitty cat saying hello and yes all right this is the card that wants to come up. Okay, by the end of the weekend, you need some rest again. So this is for a thought. Spend time in nature. Again, it's about spending in time in nature, listening to your guidance, listening to your guides, listening to the essence of water because water shifts earth and you need water to shift you a little bit. So if your beloved is a water sign, this is very good. Balance each other out in that department, being grounded and then also being able to flow. And yes, so, so spend time in nature listening for guidance, your angels and your angels and your own inner voice because overanalyzing the situation won't help. So I feel like when you're getting, getting all these new ideas, you might start to think and start going through a mental cleanse. But this is okay because the meditation says to meditate, to sit back, to relax, to rejuvenate the seashells and seaside are really all about going within, meditating, Really spending time with your emotional body, your physical body, and tapping into that energy. So you're purifying something that's really beautiful. Really, really nice. So I send you love and light. And it's also maybe 
working on a project in the middle of the weekend could bring you all this energy together. And it's just time to take a nice walk, a nice bath together, or meditate together. Just like spend good time together, but it's more like peaceful, quiet time. So be quiet within yourself, around yourself, and enjoy the tranquility that life brings in your harmonious relationships. I will see you very soon for your weekly reading and your monthly reading coming very soon for August. I know you're excited about that month and I will speak to you soon. Love and light your way. Namaste. If you'd like to join our course, links below. And I'm here for your readings as well. So I'd love to hear from you if you'd like a personal reading. I do Skype and video. So namaste. Blessings. Mwah. Divine, beautiful earth creature of love, abundance, and tranquility. See you soon.